We are the Cloverfield pair of ducks! Whack. We are appropriately titled, because what are Sam's thoughts on this movie? I don't give a flying about this movie. Snippity snap, my fellow human beings and creatures of the cosmos. This is Sam the Geigen fan with easily the most unexpected episode of Here with Monsters ever. <laughs> okay, so if you're probably just sitting there and going, Sam, what's going on? Last night during the Super Bowl, there was a trailer for the third Cloverfield movie, which was going by the title of God Particle, but now it's going by the title of the Cloverfield Paradox. I think that's kind of obvious at this point. The whole spiel with this one was that it was that it was supposed to be released after the Super Bowl. Like, hey, if you guys want to see the Cloverfield Paradox, you can right after the game. It's fun. I did that, and I didn't really like it that much. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't the worst. It's not the worst kaiju movie ever made. Like, not even that. Okay. You know what, let's just actually talk about the other two Clover movies before this one. The first Cloverfield was unexpected to say the least. It was just a found footage kaiju movie with that monster that definitely isn't a Muto. It's definitely interesting. I personally haven't seen it, but I basically have seen like every clip related to it. So I, I, I don't know if I can properly review it. I don't know. Vote, vote in the poll, whatever. But I do find a lot of the scenes with Clover to be very enjoyable. She looks like a pretty cool monster. I'll give her that. I mean, sure, she does have the stereotypical modern monster design now, but I mean, she was the pioneer of it, so I can't really rag on it too much. The sequel, Ten Cloverfield Lane, was, I think, was also pretty good. I, I don't know, I haven't seen that one either. It features aliens, from what I know, and yeah, that's really it. <laughs> and so we come to the Cloverfield Paradox, which is supposed to connect Ten Cloverfield Lane to the original Cloverfield, and... Boom. Yeah, this movie did not do that. If anything, it actually made the timeline a lot more confusing, and I'm gonna talk about that. There will be spoilers for the Cloverfield Paradox, and side note here, I don't want to constantly keep repeating myself in all of my reviews, but they are, they are spoiler filled. I'm going off the logic that you guys have already seen the movie, giving you guys a quick heads up. Okay? Okay. Let's talk about why the Cloverfield Paradox kinda sucks. So the story is weird to say the least. It's basically humanity trying to figure out this new power source because the world is on the brink of war basically and everyone is just like <laughs> So people in space are have made this new particle accelerator thing that should solve the world's power forever but instead when people try it it sends them to an alternate dimension, and dimensions like are like smashing together, and it's nuts, okay? The whole dimension smashing, giggity, is actually one of the most interesting parts of the movie for me, just because of like all the crazy things and how they're, everything's like being shifted. This one character who's like sent from, who's in the dimension that our main crew travel to, and she's like embedded inside the wall. It's nuts, okay? There's another guy who's who has like a bunch of worms inside of him, and this weird, and this weird portal robot thing that really wants to go to space. It's, it's called Gyroscope, but it looks like the portal robot that really wants to go to space. I don't know that robot's name though. And that is one of my favorite parts about this otherwise pretty bad movie. <laughs> the way that some of the alternate dimension stuff interacts with the main cast is actually pretty cool and I really do enjoy it. It is a horror movie. It is a horror movie, so there are indeed a lot of kills, and most of them are not really creative, to say the least. There's there's a kill that's basically ripped straight out of Alien, basically. So, there's one where just one person gets frozen, and another guy gets shot, and my favorite kill is probably with this... Okay, let me explain this kill. So there's basically like this weird, like, glue stuff, and... There's a magnet drawing, like, all metal stuff to the wall, and the glue stuff is somewhat metallic because it's being applied to metal, and it basically, like, grabs this one guy because it's being drawn by the magnet, and basically it kills him and then the ship blows up. The ship doesn't actually blow up, though. That's kind of disappointing because I really didn't like the cast. It's not that the cast of characters in this movie was bad or annoying, or anything. It's just I found them unengaging. I don't judge characters off relatability because you can't really relate to most characters in movies 
ever. I thought I base characters off how engaging they are, and these characters just weren't. They're just regular plain stereotypes. They only have one note character traits. Basically. The special effects in this movie were actually pretty good. I did enjoy some of the space scenes and stuff. They were they were pretty pretty. There there were a lot of practical sets built and they look really good, so I get so that's a, a, a good a good score. There's one scene where this one guy's arm just gets cut off, like straight up cut off, and he just spends the rest of the movie like that. And and while I was watching when it came to that part, I just thought to myself, how do they do that without CGI? Because I'll th I mean it probably is CG somehow, but I mean the music I actually really did enjoy, especially during the opening credits. I really I really did like that music at the beginning. A lot of the music kind of sounds like the Kong Skull Island music, especially at the very end, which I'll get to. But overall, I did I did like it. It it, it was it was a solid thumb up for me. The monsters. Oh boy, let's talk about the monsters. The monsters. Now, I didn't expect this movie to feature Clover at all, really, or just a big front up CGI thing shot. And in fact, we actually did get a silhouetted shot of Clover as she was just walking right on through the city, just being a boss and all that stuff. So I'm per so I was perfectly okay with that. The movie wasn't centered around Clover herself; it was centered around space stuff, which is kind of disappointing because the Earth stuff was actually really interesting. I really liked it. The main the main girl actually had like a husband or a boyfriend back at home. I'm, it wasn't very clear in the movie, and he's basically left on Earth, and Clover is just running around. He meets up with this little girl, and he basically just takes care of her, and it's really cool. And I actually really, and I really like that Earth stuff, and I wish that that was the main story, and the space stuff was more of like a side story, because the space stuff is really lame and generic and stuff, and the Earth stuff is really cool and I really enjoy it. So that's probably one of my more main gripes with the movie in and of itself is that it's unbalanced. Let's, let's just say that. It's really unbalanced. And the second complaint is actually what I'm wanting to talk about right now. It's nothing too big. It's a pretty small scene. Uh, it's pretty quiet actually so you might want to turn up the volume a bit. Maybe maybe to the maximum it can get because it is really quiet. So so let me let me just play the scene. absolutely hate that scene for so many reasons. Okay, well, mainly one. And that one main reason being, what is even going on? Okay, so if you notice, there was a little pod that was, you know, descending from the sky. And if you know the ending of the first Cloverfield, you know that there was a little satellite thing that was also descending from the sky in the ocean. So I was thinking, oh, this is how that connects. But then out of nowhere, freaking Clover just emerges from the clouds and she's all like, what up, boys? And it's dumb and it's stupid and why did it have to be in the movie? It didn't. Th this felt like a weird last minute draft thing because people were complaining, oh, there wasn't any Clover in 10 Cloverfield Lane. So we need Clover in the sequel, otherwise it will suck. So they did, and it turns out to be the worst part of the movie. Like, absolutely. I don't really have any other reason for this movie, including this scene with Clover, other than for fan service. And I really hate that. The scene, that scene is just awful, and it leaves a bad taste in the mouth. I find Clover's design fine, especially in this movie. The CGI is kind of trash, but I mean, that's kind of expected nowadays. I mean, let's be honest. Her roar is also pretty fine, but why did they have to include it? They could have just left. They could have just ended it with the spaceship just just descending through the clouds, and then that would have been a perfectly suitable ending. But no, Clover just had to emerge because, hey, we don't want this movie to get unexpected amounts of hate like 10 Cloverfield Lane. So, yeah, but it turns out to be the worst scene in the movie, and oh... <sighs> I, I, I really do hate that scene, guys. You have no idea how much I hate it. I overall find the Cloverfield Paradox to be 
the opposite of Godzilla Planet of the Monsters. Whereas Planet of the Monsters felt new and original and kind of fun in some weird aspects, and the ending scene was one of the best things I've ever seen, this movie was kind of lame and stupid, and the ending was probably the worst thing I've ever seen in a kaiju movie. What are my overall recommendations of the Cloverfield Paradox? Overall, on the thumb scale, I'm going to give the Cloverfield Paradox a one thumb down, not recommended. It's stupid, and I don't like it. Just go watch Planet of the Monsters again. It's so much better. <laughs> but I have to ask, what did you guys think of the Cloverfield Paradox? Did you think it was good? Did you think it was trash? Did you think it was somewhere in between? Either way, this is Sam the Gigan Fan telling you guys to not put in Clovers because fan service and all that stupid trash. And remember to wash your hands. Okay.